guys, okay, I'm so excited. This is legit right in this moment, the first time I've ever performed in LA. How exciting is that? <laughs> Oh my god, world historical, if, depending on what, uh, how important you think I am. Um, I'm so excited to be here. I mean, come on, we don't have stuff like that in New York. <laughs> For the space, I imagine. Um, I'm excited. I'm nervous, too. It's crazy to perform stand-up, kind of in general. So, uh, here's how I would describe performing stand-up. Performing stand-up in this moment right now, you know, it feels kind of like I'm like the lead character in a Disney movie. Um, and I'm performing at the talent show for the whole school, and the music just cut out. <laughs> and then I just stopped talking and sort of... <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> and, you know, you guys are sort of all my mean classmates, you know, you're kind of crossing your arms going, what the hell is she gonna do now? <laughs> And, you know, I'm sort of standing on stage, and he's shaking, basically, and, you, you know, you guys are, oh my god, is she literally about to cry? And I am, so. <laughs> I'm about to run off stage in, like, full tears, but um, before I do, I, I look in the back of the, sort of, auditorium, and I see an older male mentor figure. Uh, it's, Luke, it's Luke Wilson. <laughs> and he looks at me, and he goes, you guys. You got this. <laughs> and I sort of look back at him. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, you guys are all, what the hell is she still doing on stage? <laughs> but gather myself, close my eyes, take a really deep breath. Every time I try, I'm born without a man of me. I feel so small. You're all like, oh my god, she's amazing. <laughs> Wait, she's an amazing singer. Every time I think, you and my girl standing up, yeah, she's gonna be Brooklyn! <laughs> There's like two girls who are still like angry. They're like, I'll sit down, Kevin. And they're both of standing up. <laughs> That's how everyone goes, tonight! <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm so happy to be here with you guys in person, live. I mean, it's amazing. Not to the, no offense to the audience at home. Um, <laughs> I didn't love performing, during like early pandemic, I did a bunch of Zoom shows, which I really didn't love, um, just because you're kind of performing silently into your computer, which isn't awesome. Um, I did one where they were kind of trying to like counteract that, so they were like, you know what? We're actually gonna do something a little bit differently at this Zoom show. We are actually gonna have everybody in the Zoom audience keep their microphones on. <laughs> so we're that in line. Okay. You know? <laughs> Whatever you say, because I actually will do anything if you ask me to. So. <laughs> um, but I was like, okay, whatever, I'll give it a shot, no problem. I start performing, and um, four seconds into my set, I hear an old man go, I think he's gay! <laughs> You got me! You know what I mean? <laughs> sort of an amazing, if you see something, say something for him. <laughs> for him to clock me like that. And by the way, on a Zoom screen, you know, you're not getting all the gestures, right? He just heard it, he said, I think I know what this is. <laughs> it felt like a generous act, you know, in a lot of ways. Because, you know, if you have a question, and you're in a room, you have a question, someone else probably has the same question. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he's wondering, he's wondering, he, he figures out, he goes, you know what, I, I know what this is, someone else is probably asking the same thing. He's gay, everyone! <laughs> Someone else in the Zoom audience is like, he's gay, that's why he sounds like that. Okay. <laughs> no, the, the really crazy thing about that moment was that um, up until literally right then, I didn't know that. <laughs> he, said that I, he said that I was like, he's right. <laughs> that's why I love women's gymnastics. <laughs> Movies where girls have guns. Um, no, I'm kidding. I've been gay for a really long time, thousands of years. Um, and I love it. I think it's awesome. It's hilarious, of course. I think it's so funny to be gay. I love that it's being straight with one crucial twist. You know what I mean? A twist on an old classic. You know what I mean? Boy, girl, what do we. There you go. <laughs> it's so funny to me. And it, to be honest, it hasn't totally like hit. You know what I mean? It hasn't totally like kind of sunk in for me, right? Like, I, I was recently at like a cafe, and I was sitting, I was uh, listening to this guy talking to his friend at a table nearby, and he was explaining to his friend, he was like, oh, I'm really excited um, to go home tonight because my husband is making me dinner. And I was sort of listening to that, kind of had this split second reaction of being like, uh, 
bro, I think you need your wife. Because right? <laughs> you're kind of the guy in the situation, so sort of running the numbers on that, wouldn't that kind of mean that your partner's a woman? <laughs> As that's sort of working out. Unless maybe I, I missed something or a, a moment where right before then, you know, you kind of, you said, oh, you know, I'm making dinner for my wife, and what she's going to say is probably something like this, colon, you know, and then here's where I tune in. I'm excited my husband is making me dinner tonight, end quote, and then, you know, so I kind of missed that context. Or... And then, you know, it takes another second for me, for me to be like, you know what, Charlie? <laughs> He's gay, and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. And then it takes another second for me to be like, and actually, Charlie, you're gay. <laughs> you slash bitch, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I have a boyfriend, so, you know, go me. You know. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I do, it's awesome. Um, we've been doing some kind of fun sexual exploration stuff, so I kind of wanted to, to share that with you guys. <laughs> Spice of your own lives. We've been doing a role play. Do you guys know about that? Um, so I wanted to share some of them because they're kind of fun. Um, we do one, for example, where he's like, kind of like a grungy skater guy, like a skater. You know, he's like kind of a little bit dirty, you know, whatever. And so hot, right? And then I play a park bench. Um, <laughs> yeah, he puts his feet in my face. Um, we do another where he's like a, kind of a basketball player, right? He's maybe it's like a really important game. Um, and, you know, I'm in the audience or arena or whatever, you know, what they call it. He's a really important kind of, you know, free throw shot moment. And I'm somebody in the um, arena who uh, distracts him by accusing him of manipulating the ball using witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Ref, he's using spells! <laughs> He missed it. <laughs> um, I'll do one more and then I'll kind of get out of here. Um, <laughs> we do this one that I think is so cool and it's a little conceptual. So um, in this one, I play the letter I. Um, <laughs> you know, from the vowels, you know. <laughs> and then he um, plays sort of uh, the lamp from the Pixar opening credits. <laughs> I'm hanging out with my friends, and he just steps on me. <laughs> Until I kind of cease to exist. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs>